Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, and you, how are you today? I'm doing okay, thanks, Edgar, Edward. So welcome back, everybody. It's July 6th, 2020. How was your weekend? Did you have a weekend? Can you hear me? Rebecca, Gabriela, Noeli, Claudia, Annie, Juan. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. My teacher was great. Your weekend was great. Okay. So let's see. So today is the beginning of a new week. Um, do you guys remember what we did last Thursday? The activities, the topics that we covered? Okay, so we were practicing with used to. Actions that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Or actions that you did in the past, that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. So you go from positive to negative or from negative to positive. All right. Um, can you mention one thing you used to do when you were a kid and you don't do anymore? Can you? I used to play hide and seek. Okay, I used to play hide and seek, very good. I used to go to kindergarten. I used to play soccer with my friends, with my neighbors after school. So I know that there were many things that you did as a kid, but you don't do anymore. Okay, uh, what other topics did we cover? The things past, simple past. The simple past. What is the function of the simple past? So, uh -huh. about things that we do in the past. Okay, it talks about things you did in the past and they are completely finished. Uh, what's the auxiliary we use to make questions in the simple past? Did. Did. Uh, did, good. Can you also use was and were? Yes, you can. So you have three options. You can use did, you can use was, and you can also use were. So were you at school? Were you at work? Were you happy? And different things. Okay. Um, any questions about used to or the simple past tense? No? You guys are quiet today. No teacher, everything is okay. All right, good. Okay, so um, I'm asking you questions about the simple past because right now you guys will be working with the simple past. You guys will be working in pairs and you will talk about the different things you did Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today all day. All right, um, any questions about the activity you will do right now? No, no questions? Only talk, teacher. Only talk. So you're, you're, you will start the conversation like this. 
how was your weekend? What did you do? And pay attention to the way your friend answers when he or she is using the simple past tense. Is it clear? How, it, how was? How, how was your weekend? Or what did you do on your weekend? Either way. Okay. Thanks. All right. So here we go. Let me make the pairs. Make sure that you use the simple past tense accurately. Here we go. How was your weekend? Weekend. Or Hello, Rebecca. Can you hear me, Clara? And do you, did you study? What else? Tell me where, where do you study in your weekends? For the the platform, I platform? studied. Uh -huh, the classroom, uh, the the videos, uh, the past tense, and I complete my. Yeah, only four people: my husband and I, and my my parents. You were very busy all weekend. Yeah, but it's, I prefer that. K maybe in. Uh, the I pool, spend that two hours. Cheap. Two hours. So he's spending that two hours. Okay, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice because I think that that uh, that time we need to enjoy with your family because the situation is very stressful. Okay. 
Eh, la, la pregunta sería, what do you do for the wind? Ahora te la hago yo. What do you do? What okay. do you do on your weekend, Marvin? Uh, it's well my tour to work. Uh, I do stu study. Mm -hmm. in, in, um, I work. No, 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 no. Only um, a party online with friends. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> In the morning. Because all the week was boring. <laughs> okay. Yes. And on Sunday, I didn't do anything. Okay. Yes. <gasps> it's so sad because this situation is very complex complicated and our lives is too different yes yes and you Very can deep. yes you can do it the same things that you do in the past in your normal life <laughs> that's yes. sad staying home is the typical situation for all in these days yep. yeah at the end of this don't worry okay what's gonna do today uh, talk about the weekend how did you do you oh. need simple past exactly Okay. Uh, okay. We have we have to talk about the weekend using the past, right? Yeah, the simple past, past continuous, used to uh, anything related with the past. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Uh huh. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> All right. Okay and. Um, who? Hi, Mister. Hello. You guys are, are finished? finished. Okay. Yes, teacher. How was your weekend, Edward? Mm, it's a very bored teacher because I only play video games and I went to the supermarket. I don't do anything special. Special because I don't go out. There is my house and another place, and I only went to the supermarket and helping in my house. And only that I studied for for topic and I watch videos. Good, good. A, and what about you, Saida? How was your weekend? Uh, it's not uh, relevant, but um, only that I watch TV. I I see uh, uh, my favorite series, and I went to the supermarket that yesterday in the morning okay and yes and the uh, I cook in uh, a cheesecake only that oh and what is your favorite series uh, Saira <laughs> uh, I have uh, two favorite series is uh -huh. a great an anatomy okay and a vis a vis <laughs> Okay. All right, good. I have watched a few episodes of Grey's Anatomy, but uh really? the and the other one, what's the name of it? What? The other series that you watch that you say that is one of your favorites? Mm, yes, vis a vis. Vis a vis. Yes. And what is it about? It's a series uh, I don't know the meeting española. Uh-huh. It's a, it's a very interesting. Okay, good, good. It's a, it's a series about the, the prison. And yeah, because yeah. Because I, I watched the series. It's very interesting because the woman, I didn't anything. And so when, they're innocent. 
Yes, yes, she is innocent. Um, she is staying in the prison. It's, it's so difficult, the, the life in the prison for, for her. Um, I remember only, only episode because I, I watched the series a lot of. Uh, oh, you know, uh, and you watched it in one Netflix? Years ago. Yes, yes, in Netflix. Okay, good. I good. watched. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, let's return to the main session. All right, so welcome back. Are there any questions about the simple past, past continuous, used to, or any other form of how to use finished activities in the past? No? No questions, no comments? Can you hear me? Yeah, teacher. All right. Any I can questions? hear you. Okay. Any questions before we change topics? No? Okay. So one of this week's topics is countable and non-countable nouns. So uh, can you give me examples of nouns that are countable? Cars, book, pencil. Okay, table. all right, good. Can you now give me examples of ca of nouns that are non countable? Uh, water, water, sugar, 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 coffee, coffee. Okay, sand, Parking. what is it? Sand. Sand, yeah, sand, right? Yeah, so we can mention sugar, salt, coffee, sand. Any other examples of non-countables? Ale. What is it? Ale. Eel, what is eel? Air. Air, yes, air, air. Air is non-countable. Oil. Now remember that some of the non-countable nouns, uh, they can be measured, but it cannot be counted. So like air, pollution, corruption, contamination, it can be measured, but it cannot be counted. So uh, just for you to remember that some of the things that you mentioned like sugar, coffee, it can be counted, the presentations that you're using, but the content itself cannot be counted. So um, let me show you this. Mm -hmm. Here. You see this? Um, do you see the document? Yeah. Okay, what is the name of the document? Adverse of quantity. Adverse of quantity. So you apply adverse of quantity according if, if you're using countables or non-countable nouns. Now, let's start with the group on the left, countables. Um, can you count cars? Are cars countable? Yes. Yeah. They are. So you will use too many. Too many is an average of quantity to express a big amount. So do you think there are too many cars in San Salvador? That's a lot yeah. Of mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we have traffic jams all the time because there are too many cars. Now, if you're still using countables and you want to talk about reducing the number, you need to say fewer. There should be fewer cars. So fewer is the adverb of quantity that we use to talk about a small quantity of car. How do you say fewer in Spanish? 
Can, can you tell me how to say fewer in Spanish? Algunos. Uh, menos. 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 But remember, you will say fewer if the noun that you're mentioning is countable. So you said there should be fewer people on the streets. There should be fewer buses to help the environment. So you're saying menos, but you're going to say fewer if the object that you're mentioning is countable. Now, if you need to increase the, the amount, you will say more. So we need more subway lines. And then if you think that you need more of what you're mentioning, you will say there aren't enough buses. Enough buses. Okay. Any questions with the group on the left? No. Okay. It's a, it's yes. A yes, Edward. Uh, in the first sentence, you can say there are some, so many cars or why is used two? Okay, good question. Remember that you use the word to to indicate that there is an inconvenient. So when you say there are too many cars, hay demasiados. Now, if you say so many cars, you're saying hay muchos carros. So when you say so many, it's okay. It's a big number, but maybe it's not a problem. Now, if you want to indicate that there is a problem and inconvenient, then you, then you include the word too. And that indicates that there is a problem with the with what you're mentioning. So once again, if you want to indicate that there is a problem, you will say two. So let's say you're drinking coffee and you put it down. And they said it's too hot. That means that the temperature is a problem with you right there. Or if you go to El Pital and you bring a sweater and it's not enough, you say, man, it's too cold here. Let's go back. So you indicate that there is a problem with it. So that is the difference between using two and so. Got it? Yes. And teacher, and if, is, if we use so and how, 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 okay, so how if, is it? Okay, if you're using so, you're just indicating that there is a big number, but the big number is not a problem for you. Now, if you include the word too, you indicate that there is an inconvenient with it. So you okay. imagine on a regular season, you go to a bank on a Saturday morning, you go inside and there is a big line a huge line yeah and then okay. you leave you call your wife or your husband boyfriend girlfriend say look there are too many people here i'm coming back on monday so in that case when you say there are too many people here the number of people is a problem for you uh, okay uh -huh. and and if uh -huh. we if we if we are used so what i mean that uh, you're just saying that there is a lot of people, but you have time. Maybe you have a good book with you and you're just saying, look, there are, there are so many people here, but I'm ready with my book. Maybe you don't have options to come back and you need to stay. So uh, once okay. again, the word two indicates that there is a problem with what you're mentioning. Uh, okay. So that Thanks. is the difference. That is the difference. Yes. A question more. Yes, no problem. When I can, when I can use uh, fewer? Fewer? Uh, fewer in can, when I can use uh, less. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions about the first group before I explain Edward's question? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So here, let's compare the second group with the first one. Now, if you're mentioning something that is countable and you have a problem with the amount, you will say too many. Mm. If there is a problem with the amount with something that cannot be counted, then you say too much. Can you count traffic? No, you cannot count traffic. You can measure traffic 
or you can say uh, pollution. There is too much pollution in San Salvador. So too much is when there is a problem with a quantity, but you're talking about non-count nouns. That is the first one. Now, going to your question, you say fewer when you want to say menos with mm -hmm. something that can be counted. You will say less, and the idea is the same, menos, but you're going to use it with things that cannot be counted, like water, um, oil, sugar, and, and all the things that cannot be counted. So once again, fewer means menos, less means also menos. The difference is we're going to use fewer with countables and you're going to use exactly less for the same function, but with non-countables. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So in the case you need more quantity or you want to increase, you will say more. We need more public transportation and something very important. When you are mentioning non-count nouns, they are always singular. They're always singular. For example, crime. Crime is a serious problem in El Salvador. Excuse me, crime is a serious problem in El Salvador. Pollution is a problem in El Salvador. So whenever you're mentioning non-count nouns, they're always singular. Any questions here? Any questions or comments about uh, the image that you're seeing right now? No. No? All right. So now this is like the introduction, the theory, the explanation, the rules. Let me, um, let me take a picture of it so I can send it to your WhatsApp, 8 to 9 p.m. Uh -huh. See this here. So this is for you to have reference of how to use adverse of quantity using countables and non-countables. So that information is for you. Right now, I will show you um, uh, an exercise for you guys to do together. Here. and share. Do you guys see the image? Yes, teacher. Okay. So once again, what you're seeing on top is the explanation that I just gave you. There are too many people, there should be fewer people, we need more people, there aren't enough people. Singular, there is too much pollution. There should be less pollution. We need more pollution, it doesn't make sense, but, and there isn't enough oil, sugar, coffee, or whatever you want to include there. So your mission is to work together and do the exercise that I'm showing you right there. Let me send you this image too. It's in the WhatsApp chat. And I'm going to make uh, pairs again so you guys can work together. Let me see this here. Add a room. So we're going to move to room six. Room six, going to exchange 
Saul, Marvin, with Gabby. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Or no, too much. Too much, because it's singular. It's not countable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And the uh, second. Say that it should be... Because you can count sugar. Okay. You can use um, too much or much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and the other one. Okay. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Hi. Are you doing the exercise? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> Because I found you guys quiet, so I said, are they sleeping? <laughs> All right, because good. Because I lose my, my picture. <laughs> oh, okay. And now I'm searching. <laughs> but did you find it? No. No, not, not yet. yet. No. Okay. Not yet. But are you, in the, are you in the chat? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Entonces, the, the cherry animal on the trees. On the trees. But, ¿cuál adverbio ocupo? Which adverbs that you use? Which yes. number are you doing? The second. Okay, the there second. should be, aha. Uh -huh. What is the adverb, Marvin? Uh, number seven, there sorry be less animal on the trees. Okay, um, can you count animals? Uh, can you count animals? Yes. Yes, you can. So mm -hmm. is it less or fewer? Fewer. Yes. Fewer. Oh. Fewer. Uh, fewer. Uh, yes. Menos, better. Okay. Yeah, because you can count animals. Uh huh. Right. Okay. YouTube, YouTube. Este, es que el internet no no está la aplicación. No sé por qué. Ah, I know. What happened, Juan? Este, I have a problem, teacher. With the internet. Yeah, it's very bad. Okay. Do you have the image? In WhatsApp? Uh -huh. In WhatsApp? 
Do you have it? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Um, but motion is not for the not countable. Ah uh, no. In many for countable. Yes, yes, right. You have right. Uh, many too money. many. <laughs> too many money. Right. Too many money. Okay. Now listen. Money is countable. But it's an exception. Like when you go to a store, you say, how much is that jacket? So uh, when you uh, talk about money, you count it, but you say how much. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> so when you talk about money, you're supposed to say how much. Hey, how much do you want for your car, for your motorcycle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am. I, I, I am. Ah, como se dice, yo escuché. I heard. Uh, I heard. I, I heard that that uh, that combination. Right. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. This when they ask we need you too much. Uh -huh. How much and, do you have in the bank, for example? Uh -huh. Right. And, uh -huh. and that that is because <laughs> I just was thinking and and I, I my brain just put the <laughs> right. Yeah, and, and I forgot. And I forgot to mention um, that example. You know, it's like an exception. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This will be it's mm. less, maybe. Oh, if we were. Which number are you doing? Uh, number, the number seven. seven. Number seven. Number seven. Let's check number seven. There should be violence. Can you count violence? No. Uh -huh. no exactly. It's non countable. So, what would be the best answer? Maybe less. Uh huh. Exactly. There should be there less. should be less violence yes. in our city. Exactly. Yes. What's the meaning of uh, nowadays? Nowadays. What does that mean? It's hoy en día. Mm hoy -hmm. en día. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which number are you guys doing? Number eight. Number eight. There is uh, in the world nowadays. Uh huh. What is? What will be the answer for number eight? Maybe to, there isn't too much love. Uh huh. In the world nowadays. Good. Good. More flavors of ice cream. I guess. Uh huh. No, 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 no. There should be fever. Fever, yeah. Fever, uh huh. There should be fever flavors of ice cream. I can never decide on one. Yeah, that's true. Which number are you doing? Number eleven. 11. There should be flavor. Yeah, fewer. 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 Yeah, you can count flavors. Yes. Good, very good. Mm -hmm. Number 
No es suficiente. No es suficiente amor en el mundo. So how will you say that in English? <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> there isn't enough love uh -huh. in the in the world. Good. What is the mean what is the, the means of nowadays? Hoy en día. Uh, nowadays. Okay. Yes. I have okay. I, I have a question about the sentences number three. Number we need, three. Uh -huh. We need much money or many. Uh, okay. Did you see the chat in the in the, the chat of the platform? I wrote a message saying that if you're mentioning money, you're supposed to say much. Okay. Because you can count money. And according to the rule, if it's countable, you should say many, but money is the exception and you say much. Okay, I, rem I remember that, but uh -huh. I'm not sure. Yep, very good. That's a good question. Okay, thank you. All right. I can see that the chat. Um, the next one. Which number are you doing now, Annie and Juan? Number seven, teacher. Seven. Number seven, all right, good. Yeah. That shall be... Violence is non count. Many policies. O como lo del dinero. Uh, por ejemplo, en, en este caso creo que es more. Uh, we need more, we need more songs to play. Necesito más canciones. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, if you guys mm. analyze the first screen that I sent you, if you're trying to increase the number, countable or non-countable, you should say more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 two, and, and, and both options, we can use more. Exactly. So you can say, okay. I need... Uh, more people for the project or you say i need more sugar in my coffee either one is fine yeah All okay right. good okay. thanks very good uh we are right too much but i don't know teacher i we had a, a do the for the number 11 Number 11, let me check 11. There should be, okay, flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Can you count flavors? Yes. Maybe no. <laughs> yeah. So you say they should have fewer, fewer. Let, let me For see. For me, the... it's too much, but I don't know. Okay, there should be fewer flavors of ice cream I can never decide on one so the message is okay imagine that they have five options five different flavors and okay. you love the five flavors so when you go to La Neveria Pops whatever you said my goodness what flavors should I ask chocolate vanilla strawberry so in that case that that person wants to have uh, the situation easier so it's just an expression. It's just an expression that uh, uh, to say that uh, that they there should be fewer options. So when you go to La Neveria, you will say, "Well, chocolate mm -hmm. and vanilla. Give me vanilla, or give me chocolate." So, so that is the message in that one in particular. Is it clear? Yes, oh. yes. But yeah, we have to do it because I don't know to use too many or too or too much. Fewer. Okay, okay, you need to say fewer because the complement gives you a very clear idea. It says, "No puedo decidirme en uno." Why? Mm. Because there are too many options, and all the options are good. It's like if they said, "Okay." choose a destiny and we'll give you a plane ticket so you can visit that place 
you start thinking, oh my goodness, Europe, Africa, Latin America. And so that, that is the message that there should be fewer options uh, in that particular sentence. Okay. Got it? Yes. yes All right. Thank you so much. All right, good. I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Let's do the exercise together. I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. I sent you a message on the platform uh, chat. In that message, I mentioned that if you're mentioning money, you need to say how much. Okay, what is number one? I need a volunteer to tell us number one. Volunteer for number there one. Is, there is too much sugar in this coffee. Exactly. Very good. There is too much sugar in this coffee. Volunteer for number two. Anybody? Anybody? Just one? There should be too many animals on the streets. Okay, now on the streets, do you think the streets are the, the best place for animals? No. Okay, no. so what if we say something negative better? Like there should be... Less, less animals um, on the streets. Okay, now can you count animals? Yes. Yes, you can. So according oh, to the rule, exactly, yes. Yeah. So there fewer. should be fewer animals on the streets. Okay. What kind of animals do you see on the streets? Dogs. Dogs. Cats. 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 Okay. Okay, what about number three? We need... Much money. Much money to, to travel, travel abroad. Tickets are expensive. Exactly, very good. What about number four? There aren't enough enough people to complete a, so a soccer team for the championship. Very good, very good. What about number five? There are somebody, anybody. Okay. There are enough, enough books that I still have to read. Okay, enough is one good option. Uh, something different? Many. Many is another many. good option, yes. So there are many books that I still have to read or there are enough books that I still have to read. So the two options are good. Nice. What about okay. number six? Oh. We need more songs to play at our party on Saturday. Okay, good. We need more songs to play. Good. When was the last time you guys went to a party? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe six months ago, five months ago, no. a year ago. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, what about number seven? There should be yes. less, less, less crime in our city. Yes, there should be less crime in our city. That's what every Salvadorian wants. Number eight, there isn't too much love. Too much love in the world nowadays. The world that, nowadays. that is a good option. Another option? There is enough. Aha, uh -huh. there isn't enough love enough in the world nowadays. Your... Very good. Nowadays. Nice. What about what, teacher? What yes. what did what did you say? 
Nowadays. Nowadays. Repeat this. Nowadays. 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 Yes. Right. Nowadays. Thanks. Three syllables. Nowadays. 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 Yes. Nowadays. Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Very good. Number Thanks. nine. There are. Uh, there are many languages. Uh huh. There are many languages. I would love I to learn. Okay. Now, when you finish with English, have you planned to continue with another language? Any plans for no. a third language? <laughs> no, teacher. No. Okay. <laughs> English is enough for me. <laughs> okay. But you know what? I tell you what. You know, like it's been proven that people that, that study languages, they keep Alzheimer away for longer periods. So after you finish with English, I encourage you to go with uh, Mandarin, Japanese, Portuguese, French, something. So you need to keep your mind active and constantly working. Okay, mm -hmm. what about number 10? There is... Much work. Too much work. Or no. Okay, there is much. If you think that the quantity is a problem, you say too much. Look, there is too much work to be done until the end of the year. Okay, good. Number 11. Fewer. Okay, there, there is, uh, should be. There is. Fewer of ice cream. I can okay. never decide one okay so there should be fewer options of flavors or there should be not fewer flavors of ice cream yes do you like ice cream yes yes what is yeah. your favorite flavor vanilla pistachio. vanilla pistachio chocolate. i love chocolate cookies yeah. and cream Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Cream. Chocolate cheesecake. Oh cheesecake. my goodness. Yeah, cheesecake. <laughs> Coffee. So delicious. Coffee. <laughs> okay. You know, when, when I go to an ice cream shop, I always ask for chocolate. And I tell them, can you put a little bit of extra, um, the topping, like, like make it look like a cappuccino. Mm. Okay. Yes. And number 12, there should be. Less. Less. Prejudice against other cultures and beliefs. What is the meaning of prejudice? Oh, uh, prejuicios. Okay. So it's a concept that people have about other cultures or other races just because of their religion or the color of the skin and, and, and that uh, is a big problem. Prejudice. Like now, like now in USA. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. If you're a mm -hmm. black person and you are in a situation with a white officer, not all the white officers are bad, but you know all the cases that they have had recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. No. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, what is the meaning of the word believe? Beliefs, creencias, beliefs, oh. beliefs, beliefs. Thank yes, you. sure, beliefs, right, okay, any questions or comments about this exercise that we have in front of you? From the 12, from the 12 sentences, which one do you think is the most relevant? Which one should be your priority? Ice cream. No, number seven. Number seven. Yeah, there should be less violence in our city. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone else wants to give your opinion? No. The number two. Number For two. the dogs. Okay. There should be fewer animals on the streets. Yeah. There should have uh, more protection for animals. Yes. Yeah. Number eight. 
Number eight, there isn't enough love in the world nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a big, a big problem now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. People prefer other things than love. They prefer money, vanity, so many things that come before love. Yeah. Anybody else wants to give your opinion about which one should be priority? No? Okay, so if you don't have any comments or questions, we're going to stop here. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Okay, good night, okay. teacher. Good night. Thanks. Bye, Bye. Bye good teacher. Night. Bye. See you Bye. later. Bye-bye.